yeah, part two. So in a huge ass while, about a half mile from Shire's gates, they picked up this dude Carlisle just to add more pressure. And Lunny said, You take the front, and we'll head for the back door, Chester. At the second he went off, he yelled, Keep your engine running, and your trigger finger ready to press, Scott. Down south, they're no different from up north, folk. He went through the high gate and saw the front door broke. He knew something went wrong, but still he pressed on to do damage. Scoop Alice and get gone, with a frown saying, Don't dare try and stop him. Though he clocked a petticoat laying there by the he heard something shocking, had him forced to bring his gun out Chest the firing shots, taunting him to come out Heard a shot and a scream, that's when he knew he glossed her Run upstairs yelling, nah I said we do it proper The Chester shouts back, hush your ass, be quiet You know she was saving a crafty ass heart for Shire Should've done it a lot faster But only a fool would've noticed she was under the same spell that Doncaster Then, shot after shot On the same street my mate Regions pass a lot in a room full of shots from the floor to the top messed up Lonnie shouted out Here's where you rock Chester I saw Shia Lane trembling and praying And gave them both a permanent bed for them to lay in And then he saw Carl who held up his tech but didn't spray Said follow me we can exit a quicker way Grabs a bag of loot and they find Scott Then drive off thinking of his love, his stomach and heart in tight knots Feeling that nothing's left They chose to lay low and stay as clean as a bath until the summer set Yeah yeah, it's just a story from this book that was unsung They thought he was a wuss to Shire, but look what London Yeah, Mr. Thing The story from this book that was unsung They thought he was a wuss to Shire, but look what London